welcome back to the channel and today I get to review an action figure that I've been waiting for for a while. I've been a huge Captain America fan since I was eight years old. Uh, I was first introduced to the character in 1976 when I bought my first comic books and Captain America became my favorite. Now, a little bit of background on the character. Captain America was created in 1940. Uh, his first release uh, actually came out in December of 1940, but the cover date on the issue was March of 1941. Uh, it was create he was created by Jack Kirby and uh, Joe Simon, um, and at the time there were many patriotic uh, heroes, but Captain America really stood out. Um, in 1965. Uh, Marvel brought him back in the pages of the Avengers. In 1986, uh, they shook things up a little bit, and they had the U.S. government kind of clamping down on Captain America, basically strong-arming him, strong him into being their guy. In other words, he could only go on missions that they sanctioned and so forth. Captain America, being a man of principle, turned this down. Now, Captain America is Steve Rogers. If the character had been anyone else, he wouldn't have been Captain America. He wouldn't have been what made Captain America special. Steve Rogers is Captain America. And that's why even though other characters have worn the costume and carried the mantle, there's only one Steve Rogers. And that's why um, it always comes back to Steve Rogers being Captain America in the comic book. Now, of course, they decided that in the MCU, they, were, they weren't going to do this. They weren't going to recast the character when Chris Evans stepped away from it. So they passed it on, and uh, that's how this, this figure came about. In the comic book, um, John Walker is a hero. He is, um, uh, they, they made him a little bit more um, in one direction than Steve Rogers was, but Still, he was a noble, um, well-meaning character that did his duty and took up the, uh, the role of Captain America. <clears throat> when I saw the first images of the costume in the Falcon and Winter Soldier series, which personally I didn't care for, but I did like the way that they portrayed this character. So I knew that this was going to have to be part of my collection when I got it. So let's take a look at what Toys Era has made for us with their Patriot figure of John Walker. Okay, the box, very nice work on the box. Little kind of foil, you can see the, the image there inside the star. There's the Patriot. Good quality. Nice and sturdy. It's not flimsy or anything. It's put together well. <clears throat> we have blister pack. Oops. Well, let's knock down my green goblin. Can't do that. <clears throat> okay, so what's in the box? We have your Patriot figure. Uh, you have five extra hands, along with his two hands here, the grabbing hands, like this. So he's got a pistol grip for his sidearm. You can pop out. He's got his little holster right there. The figure itself is is pretty impressive. Um, movement is a little bit restricted because of the suit. Uh, I would have much rather seen them instead of doing the jumpsuit, uh, do separate pants. And Hot Toys found this out the hard way uh, with their first releases of Captain America that. The costume was rather restrictive so what they did was they sort of made like two separate pieces where 
the arms was sort of like an undersuit and the, the oversuit on top, which allowed for a much greater range of motion. Like you can see here, that's about all the, the height you're getting in the arms lifting up. Now, if we compare this to Hot Toys Endgame Captain America, you can kind of see here how the, the suit is a separate version. And look, his arm can come up a bit higher, like this. He was here, that way. Uh, the articulation in the legs is actually a little bit better than the Hot Toys version. I'll get to that in a second. <clears throat> Bring his legs up about, eh, about here. So I guess it's about the same. Maybe a little bit more. It is a two-piece boot to allow for ankle articulation, which is really good. The costume is very screen accurate. Uh, I like the, the comic book version a little bit better, and at some point I might actually um, make my own with some modifications in it so it looks a little bit more like the comic book. Um, like I said, the uh, I think the vest version would have been a little bit less restrictive. Um, actually, you know what, they may have done that here. It's hard to see with this uh, this harness they have on for the shield. But it, no, no, it's not. Yeah. Actually, it is. It's uh, it's two separate pieces. They did two separate pieces for the vest and the, um, and the undersuit. Huh. It's just really tight as you try to move it. So you're not going to get a whole lot of dynamic poses out of him, but... Uh, he looks pretty good, I think. Very screen accurate. The quality of the materials is very good. It's like it's sort of like a rubberized vinyl. He's got like the knee pads, uh, the um, the little forearm shields here, which slide on, and the shoulder pauldrons. Yeah, pretty impressive. Okay, let's check out the unmasked head sculpt. There he is, sort of a uh, Wyatt Russell. Um, I'm not blown away with the unmasked head sculpt. Not that it matters much because I wasn't planning on uh, posing him with out the mask on but uh yeah it's not it's not the best of modern one six scale head sculpts um it does have a good resemblance to wyatt russell but it just i don't know it just doesn't really capture him my opinion anyway okay so now we have underneath we have his stand and his shield. Let's take a look at them. Oh, tape, my nemesis. Again, always be very careful with sharp objects around your action figures and anything else you tend to love, like body parts. Sharp objects can do damage. So you want to be very careful when you're separating it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Okay. It's a, a replica of Captain America's shield. It's pretty much identical to Hot Toys version. Pop out here. It will be interesting to see because um, Hot Toys original releases of Captain America's shield tended to flake the paint pretty easily. So it will be interesting to see if, if this one has that same issue. If it does, 
there are alternatives out there. You can purchase um, actual metal Captain America shields. Okay. Now his, he comes with his base. No name or anything on the base, just sort of generic. Little kind of marbleized look. And we have, of course, the crotch grabber stand. Slide this back in here. Put him off to the side. And let's see about his shield. Hmm. This could be tricky to get on the arm. I'll have to give it a shot later. But there he is. There's the uh, Toys Era Patriot figure. Very dark blue suit. Um, pants are separate, which is good. It's not just one solid jumpsuit. The f materials are great. Um, yeah, very screen accurate. Um, he does not have the little clip that the other one comes with, that the Hot Toys version comes with, where he can put his shield on his back. The base figure is a little on the thin side. He's not quite as muscular as the, the traditional Captain America figure. So, I don't know that that would really be an issue for most collectors, but you know, just so you know everything that's going on with him. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. I am. Um, he was $190 from TNS figures. Uh, Good quality. I, I did see that um, there were a couple people that received uh, theirs and was missing a couple pieces, but that's not the case with mine. Uh, the quality is really good. The paint applications are, are sharp. Everything's very, uh, very well put together. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. This is definitely going to round out my uh, Captain America collection pretty well. Okay, so there he is. Toys Era Patriot. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Thanks very much for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe, and maybe share the video out. Any uh, comments or questions you have, put them down there. I'll see if I can get to them and Maybe I can answer any questions you might have. Um, if you are a fan of Captain America, um, I would highly recommend getting this because it's you know he does play a significant role in the Captain America canon from the comic books. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next video.